<laughs> what are you doing, Chay Leaf Power Bubbler? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that guy's cleaning his truck. <laughs> American women are miserable? Huh? Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I did today? I went to the gym. <laughs> and then I wiggled around. <laughs> and then I harassed Paul a little bit because he was sitting in his desk <laughs> playing around <laughs> in his little, in little, his little atmosphere. So I said, hi. <laughs> and he said, what are you doing, Kayleaf? And I said, oh, things? <laughs> and then he said, and then, and then he looked at me, and then he patted me on my head. And I was like, oh, my God, he's paying attention to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now I'm wiggling around. I don't know what to do because <laughs> I got tons of attention. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Maybe I'll go on social media. Uh, maybe I'll have, go have fun. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm just a little K-leaf and I don't know any better. <laughs> oh, I just crashed my car. <laughs> oh, crap! I got off my antidepressants. I'm sad. Because I went back on my antidepressants. I'm sad. What's wrong, K-leaf? I don't know. I didn't have fun today. Are you okay, Kayleaf? Yeah. I don't know. You need a little hug? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm happy again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't control my emotions, but guys control them for me. <laughs> Legionnaires. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Look at that forum. Jesus Christ. You're getting big, dude. Legionnaires, you... Night. My little, my mic is wiggling. Well, that's okay. It's kind of dude. That's gonna distract me. Stupid mic. You better stay still. You better stay still. Or I'm gonna choke you with all my roid rage. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Why is it wiggling? Oh, all right. I'll just let it wiggle. It's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass to fix it. But I wave to all my neighbors now. Ah. Donkey punch the like button is coming. Figure the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, become a Legionnaire member. Hit the notification bell. Guys, I did a full day of work. You still got energy at the end of the day. I had a little bit of beef jerky. Maybe it was low quality because my energy started to dip. And I was like, damn, I got to get on this. I got to get on top of the quality of the jerky that I get. I can't be dipping in energy. That is unacceptable, sir. Anyway. Ah, yeah, that reminds me. I better go get some 100% grass-fed beef, Texas-style freaking jerky. I'm going to eat that crap jerky out here. Now, I won't say the, the name because they aren't, they aren't sponsoring me on my channel, so they can kick rocks. But anyway, I want to get into it today, gentlemen. And I know I've broached... Holy cow, guys, there are eagles out here that... Jesus Christ. There are hawks and eagles out here that look like freaking Batman. They're huge. Anyway, today I want to get into it. I'm going to off-road a little bit. We're going to go into the Ozarks, just a smidge, while everybody's kind of meandering around this town. And I just thought it was funny because it's just, it's so unfortunate, guys. It really is. That your average AW, she's just, they're just a mess. They're so screwed up. And they just don't, they don't even know what the hell's going on. Right? And so guys, naturally, we see ahead. It doesn't even matter if you're a dumb guy or, you know, slightly above average intelligence. It doesn't matter. You're still going to be able to see ahead. Right? You can understand consequences. You can understand the future a lot better. Now, of course, the guys with higher intellect can see further into the future. But even your basic dude, you're going to be able to understand where things are going, right? 
and the little ladies do not get general, so bad. So anyway, like for example, I was at uh, is that my job today? My J O B, my just above broke, and I was there in this little K leaf. Well, she's more of a K leaf. She's a little older than a leaf. You know, a little leaf is they're usually pretty young. They're silly. They don't know any better than just doing silly things. But uh, you know, she's talking to me and stuff, and. And I'm just like, man, these poor little, they just don't know anything. They're very lost. And uh, it's unfortunate because it's not like they mean, it. it's just terrible. Oh, they're going to be lost for a long time, gentlemen. Oh, my God, there are hawks everywhere. Yeah, guys, in Texas, there are vultures, like actual big-ass vultures. We don't, there's no, in, L in Los Angeles, you have a lot of crows and pigeons and dirty-ass birds. Here you've got like hawks and eagles and geez, louise and big ass owls. So you want to see the forest, guys? You want to see the forest? I'm always in the in the in the in the winter wonderland soon. So these poor a lot of birds out there. Here, you want to see? It's just it's just pretty out. So it's unfortunate because your average AW, who's young, Gen Z. The Zoomers, the freaking Alpha, Gen Alpha is, is next. Guys, there are, they're just completely miserable. And they're coping as hard as they can, but seeing them fall is just pathetic. So this little, you know, she's a Kaylee. She's talking to me. All the while, she's got tattoos on her arms, and I'm like, oh boy, this girl. Whew. And she's talking about how She's on antidepressants and living alone and trying to do the single girl thing and all this. And it's just funny because in the same breath, we see article after article news. Oh, my God. The news talking about how women need to distance themselves from men more and more. Women are on more antidepressants. Women are more likely to delete themselves these days than ever before in history. And yet you still have the narrative from other dumbasses out there saying, no, no, you should stay single. No, no, you should still hook up. You need to get further away. You need to make money. And see, here's the question I have for you, those of you who have these genius ideas. Why is this so important? How come it's so important? For women to be out here single and independent. Why is that so important? You still can't answer me that question. And then, of course, you're going to go ahead and blame men for that. I already know you're going to say, well, it's because guys are monsters and they're so terrible. How come, it's, how come women are more violent than men? Can you explain this to me? I mean, like study after study keeps coming out. That the little ladies are the ones that are out of control. Not the guys at all. Women are cheating more than men. How do you explain all this? Do you think life is all about living in a vacuum in your little woke world? Well, I got bad news for you. Things are going to be coming to a screeching halt. You're going to pay to the simps out there who keep patting these little girls on the back. To the other single, bitter, angry women out there who are telling the young women not to do this stuff, you can't, you're you in big trouble. Because you're just creating more generations of misery. And I know you may think it makes you feel better to have other miserable women with you, but that's not going to be the case forever. You're going to lose. That's why we're winners over here. I don't care if you think it's cheesy. So, <laughs> the pain is coming. They're going to feel the pain, gentlemen. They are going to feel the pain. Oh, my God. And this is not going to be changing for generations. It's going to take a long, long time for AWs to find their way again. Oh, Gentlemen, it is going to be a brutal, rude awakening. You think it's bad now? <laughs> this is nothing. This is... I, guys, I've been talking about this for almost two years. And just now we're seeing, you know, these things catch up because, gentlemen, I already told you, I'm always ahead. Gentlemen, I've always been ahead of the game. And I'm not even, I'm not being facetious. I'm not, this isn't hyperbole. I've always been ahead. I've always been able to see 10 steps ahead 
just because I was more well read as a kid. My dad had me read more books. My siblings read more books. You know, some people just nurture their IQ more and that's fine. But my point is, this to me, it's not surprising. You know, you got all these people, oh my God, oh, the, the women are getting dumber and the, 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 men are, the men are leaving. And I'm like, what do you expect? <laughs> Look at this beautiful house, guys. Look at this brand new house right here on the lake. Look at that, man. This guy is just chilling. What a beautiful new house. They, they, guys, they constructed that in <sighs> a month or two, a couple months. Beautiful house. Gotta love Texas. Hit that subscribe button. And then you may speak in the chat. I will allow it. You sons of bitches. How dare you? Anyway, I think we'll go across the lake in a minute, guys. I couldn't help myself, though. I did a full day of work, and I was like, eh, screw it. Ah, let's do this uh, streaming. And I've been learning a lot about leadership and influence. Oh, my God, there's a... There's a dove up there. Doves are kind of rare over here, gentlemen. It's kind of weird because in Los Angeles, I'm so used to doves being everywhere. But anyway, I digress. Your average AW is in big trouble. You know, she's going to be struggling. She's going to be going through periods of complete nervous breakdowns. And there's literally nothing we can do to stop it, even if we wanted to. So where does the misery come from, right? Where is all this misery? Where does it, you know, well, we just got to make more money and we got to be more lonely. We need to be more separated from men. Well, you keep doing that, AWs. <laughs> How's that working out for you? How's ethanism working out for you? Mm, not so good. Mm, ouch. Hit that like button as you come in, guys. Don't be lazy. I see you with your arthritic, your freaking rheumatoid arthritis finger. Hit the gut. The et mm effing like button. You like that jawline? I'm getting in shape, gentlemen. Tip-top physical condition. Tip-top physical condition. And then when I get my power plate, I'll be unstoppable. What the hell's a power plate, bro? You know what's funny? Is I start <laughs> I mentioned that like one time in one of my uh, videos and now they add they are actually I've seen ads for it now, of course. And I wonder if they'll advertise on my freaking channel. That would be hysterically funny, wouldn't it? That would be ironic. But you guys will see me competing at the highest level when I have my vibration training. For those of you who know, well, we, we, won't, we won't go too far off, off the uh, deep end today. Let's, let's just go to the freaking lake. Ah, Reverend Kevin Powell, yes, they're in trouble. And I don't give up about them what they endure. And of course, why would you? See, what's funny, Reverend Kevin Powell, is the fact that guys like you, myself, the rest of the dude, and Reverend Kevin Powell, is by, by the way, got himself a beautiful, uh, spectacular Nigerian woman. See, I remember Mr. Bakersfield out here. He's got, a, he's got himself a spectacular Bakersfield, or whatever, <laughs> Nigerian woman. And I believe him. He's doing his thing. Wait, which way should we go, guys? You want to see? Here, take a look. It's a little gated restrict. Let's go through here. Let's go through. And it's just funny because the vast majority of guys aren't giving it A, F. They are, they couldn't be bothered. And I don't blame them. Because over the past 60 years, all we've ever heard about is how terrible we are. Think about it this way to my AWs out there. I know it's very hard for you to understand because a lot of you are young and you don't, th you don't really have great memories. You don't think back. You only see trauma. Well, I got, I got really bad news for you, as I always do. The guys have been traumatized for a lot longer than you. They've had to endure insane amounts of AB1234 use. You guys, you want to go this way? Let's see if we can see some deer. I love deer meat. It tastes like peppery beef. And then you go see Hillbilly Tom and he says, you know what? I'm going to carve you up a deer. We're going to field dress it out here. Because we, we're, we're from Texas. Anyway, we've been enduring AB1234 use a lot longer than you to my AWs. A lot longer. We've been hearing that we're terrible and we're this and we're that. Even before we get a chance to step into the ring 
and fight. Before we even get the... Look at these trees, guys. Big-ass trees. Huge. Even before we get a chance to even enjoy ourselves, to even be who we want to be, we're listening to you angry, bitter individuals talk about how horrible guys are just because you picked wrong. Wham. Oh, you picked Chadwick Fairbanks with the light blue eyes. And now you're upset. And he doesn't want you. Well, too bad. It's your own fault. You thought you knew better. You thought you didn't need dad there to tell you. Wait a minute, guys. I got something in my eye now. There's something in my... <laughs> <laughs> you thought dad did... Guys, look at this beautiful... Look, look, look. You guys see this. Isn't it beautiful, man? Freaking Texas, baby. You hear how quiet it is? There's not a, not a peep at... You know what? Let's go this way. Let's go somewhere new. You guys can see the freaking lake from here. There's like a little... The little turtles that pop up and stuff. I wonder how tasty those turtles are. So, why would we care about your poor suffering? You have to understand, AWs, I know you're very selfish. I know you're used to hearing guys kiss your butt on social media. I know. I get it. I see what you do. You come up to me and say, oh, he's a hot early guy. Let me tell him about my whole last story. <laughs> but I really don't care. I just, I'm, I'm gathering intel. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. So, ooh, wait a minute. Is the water down there too? Okay, pretty cool. That's pretty badass. So I don't really care, but I'll listen. But the problem is you really don't understand that guys don't care that you're going through this crap. Guys don't care that you're having problems. They couldn't care. You think that there's going to be simps in the future and, oh, they're going to save me. Oh, my God, my credit card debt. Oh, a knight in shining armor. Those days are long gone. You're not getting it. Those days are dead and gone. You know the, day, you know the days that you always, that you're always talking about that, you know, you abhor, you know, the, uh, that's a word, you dummy. Abhor. Look it up. So my legionnaires, they're actually educated. They, most of you guys have very extensive vocabularies. I noticed that. But... <laughs> You abhor these words. You abhor these things like, oh, she, she used to cook for her husband and all these things. It's not the 1950s anymore. It's 2024. Well, duh, you dumb mother effer. I know that. And so do guys in the West. Guys, you got to see these beautiful bluebells. Check this out. Dude, what's with the nature like every five seconds, bro? I don't want to see nature, bro. I want to see Kaylee's. I know you want to see Kaylee's, you son of a... You know what? Uh-oh. Guys, there might be scorpions over here. I got to be very careful. Hold on a sec. Freaking scorpions. Scorpions like to go right under rocks, especially when it's hot. Goddamn scorpions. There's no snakes, though. Not yet. I haven't seen any snakes. Oh, goddamn. Freaking burrs and shit. So, so... Did I just cuss? I don't remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> your average AW, I know you're out here. You're you you want to see all these rocks? You guys, check it out. This is all these freaking rocks. So, I'm trying to, I'm stepping on the right rocks so we can get down to the flowers so you guys can see what's up. But, you know, look, it's not our problem. It really isn't our problem. Unfortunately, to my AWs, your misery is not our problem. I know you think that you can dump it on us. And say, I am the table and all this stupid stuff. But see, what you don't understand is it's a two-way street. You say, you know, it isn't the 1950s anymore. And guys are agreeing. See, this is what you don't understand. Guys are agreeing that it isn't the 1950s anymore. And they're saying you need to toe the line. You need to pull your own weight. Guys, check this out. To my legionnaires. Check this out. These little blue... Look at this. It's like a little field of beautiful freaking... Isn't that crazy? It's just sprouted up. Texas is weird, man. It's freaking great. Reverend Kevin Powell, I know about scorpions. I had one a long time ago. Very cool. You guys are interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if it smells. You see this, guys? Wow, it smells, it smells divine. I wonder what kind of... I'll look it up later. Lit wow. It smells like kind of like jasmine. 
Maybe it's a bluebell? I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go to the lake. But what I'm getting at is, to my AWs, yeah, guys agree with you. This isn't the 1950s anymore. You are equal. And you thought you could play both sides of the fence. This is what's intriguing about this whole thing and why guys got so mad. See, guys get mad because they get taken advantage of and they think girls are playing both sides of the fence, you know, independent and strong one minute and then a freaking weak, oh, I'm a damsel in distress. I got bad news for my AWs again, as I always do. That doesn't work. When you play both sides of the fence, you get screwed on both sides. Ouch. And that's what you're learning now. So what's going to happen? Well, <laughs> oh, okay. So this little Kaylee, right? She works in my work, right? And she's really, really sweet. She's actually pretty. She's actually very pretty. She's got little blue eyes. She's got straight teeth. You guys know I love the teeth. She, you know, she has a cute little smile. She's got a button nose. She's, she's cute. I told you guys I like them kind of cute, but pretty. And she's got long curly hair. Boy, it, guys, long, dark, curly hair. Oh, and anyway, she's talking to me and I'm thinking, I'm like this poor girl, man. And she's telling me, she's just crying out for help. She shows me how she crashed her car and she got off the antidepressants and all. I'm like, what? Dude, you're like 20. Like, geez, Louise. And it's not just because of her, obviously. It's because her simp of a father just let her do whatever the hell she wanted. Okay? You got AWs. To my AWs. I'm not just blaming you. Your father's dropped the ball. All the LA guys out there. Oh, stop it. You know, I talk like a woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, 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 I'm like, oh, my God. I'm an L.A. guy. Yeah, I let girls do whatever they want. Oh, yeah, girls can do whatever they want. Zero repercussions. Oh. How's that working out, stupid? Well, anyway, by the time I got finished conversation with this girl, I was like, oh, man. She, in another universe, she would be an L.A. 7. LA six and a half seven with no makeup, zero makeup, and she would be somebody's wife, and she would be happy. And I'm like, God, we have fallen so far as men in this society. It is just pathetic. Even Texas guys, as tough as they are, and I shout out to the Texas guys, it's not enough, gentlemen. They're still screwed in many ways. And I'm like, it's unfortunate, but it's more fun for us because we get to go and get the traditional form of it. And don't get me wrong, gentlemen, I'm definitely part of the problem. I told you guys it was Chad for many years. Chadwick Fairbanks right here. Hit the like button as you come in. I see you guys shuffling with your little, with your little uh, Crocs on, making a, making a big old mess in my freaking chat. Better hit that goddamn like button. Anyway, it's, it's kind of overcast today, guys, so... The freaking lake is not looking spectacular, but it's actually a river. Um, but I'll have to walk all the way down there, like all the way down. We, I've done it before. It's just, maybe we should go that way that time, next time. I don't know. But yeah, I'll have to like walk on the highway. It's so, it's so remote here. There's really like dirt roads and stuff. So. I know it doesn't look really rural, guys, but it is kind of rural. It's like right in between. So, so what's going to happen with the little AWs? Well, obviously, they are going to tank. Everything's going to tank. They are going to experience unbelievable amounts of depression, sadness, self, one, two, three, four, delete, one, two, three, four, shun, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> shun. It's going to be horrible. I can't say those words together, guys. YouTube will, uh, will, uh, yeah, they're not into that. So then what? Well, they're going to be lost for decades. They're going to try to get their act together. The just pearly things are going to, are going to be scrambling to trying to figure things out. And even her, man, she's struggling, guys. You know what I mean? She's up against the tidal wave. And again, I'm not really a huge fan. I think she's a good host. I don't think she's really a good uh, necessarily entertainer, but she's a good host. E girls, 
girls like her are going to attempt to do this and they're going to be literally a, just fighting an uphill battle because they have to fight just an onslaught of, yeah, liberal behavior. And again, I'm not a huge fan. I'm just saying you're going to see more of girls like her pop up and attempt to change things. And they are going to see a lot of pain for a long time because the problem is she's not completely conservative. That's another problem. You see what I mean? And then, of course, the RP dudes are all going to get lumped together. And Coach Greg Adams predicted this, and he was 100% right. It doesn't matter if you're a passport bro. It doesn't matter if you're RP dating coach, roach, whatever. It's irrelevant. You're going to get lumped in. Anything masculine is going to be considered, quote, unquote, toxic. Right? Anything masculine. It's just, it's irrelevant. You could, you could want to go to another country where the dudes are actually pretty calm in a patriarchal country and they're still going to call you a freaking whatever. Because again, again, <laughs> at the end of the day, they know they screwed up. They know they have no other options. They know things are falling apart. They know they're really in big trouble. So what else are they going to do, guys? They're going to blame it on you. There's no other solution. Now, of course, it is partly our fault. The simps, right? Simps let this happen, guys. They let women run amok and do whatever they want. Zero repercussion. And guys, it, you know, it's so sad. Okay, okay, okay. At my work today, you guys aren't going to believe this. There's a dude at my work. He's a good looking guy. He's not really tall, but he's a good looking guy. He's five foot nine and he's shredded. He's in tip top shape. And I'm like, you would hook up with the fatty? And he's like, yeah, man, beggars can't be choosers. And I look at him and I go, guys are just a mess. You, you know what I'm saying? There's just, it's just, holy. <laughs> You, <laughs> you've got a guy who is above average saying that he is a beggar. And then I'm like, well, how do you explain these big, you know, buffaloes? Let's say they're tens. Oh, yeah. I go, totally. He tells me he totally go for one. I'm thinking in my head, oh, my God. Guys are just a wreck in this country. And it's going to get worse for those types of guys. It's going to get way. Gentlemen, if you don't have standards, if you have not been following my past vlogs, you better get on it because you are way effing behind. I am going to repeat. If you are not on your business and personal purpose and understanding the long haul and not the short term and hooking up and all this nonsense, you are way behind, my friend. You better get caught the F up because you are behind. Business purpose, personal purpose. I don't care about Maseratis. I don't care about Lamborghinis. You can get those pretty much at any time throughout your lifetime. Go ahead and rent one. Save up some money and rent one. That's not what we're here about. Oh, hello, high value. My, I'm high and I have value. <laughs> don't even get me started with those idiots. Mr. High Value over here. Mr. High Value because he traded a couple stocks. Whoop the F and do. I'm a day trader. It, it, this is sucker born every minute. I swear to God. It's so easy to make millions of dollars. Guys, I see these ads all the time. And yet, this is sucker born every minute. Well, it's going to be that way for the ladies too as well. It's going to be brutal because they took the apple from the Garden of Eden and they chewed, they chopped down on that SOB. That's what happened, guys. It's too late. And by the way, I'm not even religious. <laughs> I hope I told that story correct. Reverend Kevin Palwin, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, guys, it's going to be really horrifying in the next few years. You are going to see things that you thought never would happen. It's going to get bad. And now it's raining. Spectacular. But it was raining earlier today. I was surprised it hadn't rained again. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And as you can see, 
what I'm unfolding, gentlemen, is just what's going to happen. What the little ladies, quote unquote, can look forward to. That's what I'm... Uh, <laughs> I named one of my playlists Legionnaire Ladies. I took out the American Women's Shorts <laughs> and I just made it Legionnaire Ladies. <laughs> oh, my little ladies. You girls are... You... <laughs> I... you got girls with full body tattoos telling me how they want to settle down. I'm 30 years old. I had my fun. Yeah, you did. And now you're going to live with that fun. Ouch. You were going to live in Funville. <laughs> uh, you know, but I do admit, I do admit I was one of those fun guys. Guys, I did it many times. Guys, I'm not proud of it. I hooked up with women who were married. And of course, they love to tell me after the fact, oh, I'm married. I don't want that. Guys, I don't want that on my conscience. But I screwed up. <laughs> Yeah, hookup's fantastic. Who gives... Guys, it doesn't even matter if she's an eight, a nine. It, it's irrelevant. How does that... Okay, for example, there was... Uh, what's it called? What the hell was she? She was like half Asian. Can you guys hear me? It is goddamn windy. Yeah, Paul, keep telling us and admonishing us about the foibles of the AW. <laughs> is that admonishing us? Admonishing us about the foibles of Adam. Wait a minute. What does admonishing mean again? Hold on a sec. I gotta look this up now. I'm not, guys, I'm not above looking up definition. Admonish. Because it seems like it wouldn't be used in that contest. Is it? Oh, yeah, well. Warn or reprimand. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's admonish. Okay, okay, okay. Just, I was, my, <laughs> I got an extensive vocabulary, but I was like, wait a minute, am, am I warning us about the four book? Yes. High, 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 falutant, very high IQ, gentlemen, in my chat, my legionnaires. So it's just funny because I'm thinking to myself, so what? I get a freaking nine. So I go out with this nine. Well, I'd say eight, eight and some change. Okay. Maybe with makeup and nine. And she is half Asian, half Hispanic. Guys, she cost me an arm and a leg. She's tall. She's a model. You can tell, guys. She's a model. She's been passed around by millionaires. It's irrelevant. She's going to cost you, son. And she's not staying a nine forever. She was probably a nine. She, I think she was in her late 20s. You know what I mean? So she was a nine before. I'm almost 100% positive because I was like, God, this... Stunning. Half Asian, half Hispanic. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on a sec. Let's look at it. Half Asian, half. Hold on a sec. I got to look it up now. You guys know I got to look up my hapas. Half Hispanic. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Reverend Kevin pa Yeah, kind of like, you know, like this. It, she, I don't think she was that pretty, but she was pretty close. God, Jesus Christ. Half Asian, half Hispanic, guys. You can't go wrong. Mixed women are just... Oof. You know? It's like, God. Anyway. I like that. That is definitely, that is definitely more my type. She's got some laugh lines, though. She's getting a little old. Who knows, guys? That's probably AI. <laughs> but she's pretty... My point being... Here I am with this half Asian, half Latina, which is probably the best of both worlds. And, and I'm, and I'm thinking about, hey, God, this girl's goddamn expensive. And we hooked up and stuff. And I was like, Jesus Christ, she had expensive tastes for a reason. And by the way, she was trying to, she was trying to dial it back. I was thinking in my head, God, where is this? She's probably been with billionaires. Who knows? But what's my point? So what? whoop de doo you got yourself a nine. Now what? They're not all the scrapped. Guys, she was about the same in the sack as a six or a five. I'm not, the fives and sixes are probably better because they're going to try a lot harder. Ah, yeah. Anyway, so, <sighs> yeah. So what's funny about the AWs in general and their misery is that 
I really don't wish it upon them. As mad and angry and how much vitriol they have towards us. And they say, oh, you're such a scumbag and all that. Guys, I really don't wish them ill will. And that may be surprising to you because I have so much content that just kicks the crap out of them. Makes fun. <laughs> I make fun of them all the time. But I really don't wish them ill will. And the reason for this, gentlemen, is because it's kind of like beating a dead dog. The hell's the point? They're already down and out. It's like, I don't even know. What, what would, okay, what would be the point of saying, of just, I don't know, kicking them while they're down? There's just, I, I don't get it. Because what's really funny about all this is there are so many guys out there that are already, are already, what's it called? It's like there's a lot of guys out there that want AWs, right? They want to be with them, which is cool. That's fine. But what's the point of kicking them down? I just don't get it. They're, al they're already suffering. Guys, if you're winning, you're not going to care. Now, of course, in the beginning, it was hysterically funny. Look, I'm going to be 100% with you guys. Red pill, like Midal says, they are in trouble enough. Cats are going around. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And then Adabisi's little hat says, LOL. <laughs> Look, guys, it is in the beginning, it was hysterically funny. I'm not going to lie. It, it was just like, uh, <laughs> I couldn't, I, I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. But then the more I was like, God, Jesus, it's going to be, <laughs> you guys better be ready because in the very near future, they are going to be coming to you for help. Now, of course, a lot of you guys are going to say no, but what am I getting at? They're going to start annoying you. They're going to start asking you. They're going to start begging you. They're, excuse me. They're going to start pleading with you. I just had some Texas chili and it was friggin' phenomenal. It was phenomenal. To, guys, Texas chili. Oh my Lord. And I'm not raving just about Texas in general, but it, it's, it's got a lot of the things that I like. And by the way, LA barbecue compared to Texas barbecue, it's not even close. The only thing California, SoCal, does very well is tri-tip steak. I don't know where we get our meat from in SoCal, but tri-tip is... <laughs> you get tri-tip steak on a really quality sandwich. Oh my, guys, it is... <laughs> wow! So sometimes LA gets things really, really good. But most of the food is just me mediocre. You know, you guys, you really have to pay for good stuff. Really, really got to pay. So, but it's fine. So, <laughs> unfortunately, my AWs, you ladies are mostly <sighs> chewed up leftover steak. You've been chewed up and spit out. I had two young guys talk to me. 15 and 16 years old, and they're telling me their high school sisters, not sisters, but their high school counterparts are completely red through. I'm like, are you for real? Yeah. And I'm like, you're freaking 15, you're 16. Oh, God. We're, sexual, we're sexually liberated. Well, good luck with that. I'm about to go on Texas Tinder. <laughs> go for it. Red pill like my doll. You will be... You. If you get a chance to all my legionnaires out there, this I'm going to give you forewarning. If you are not already very warped like myself, if you do not already understand how wild women are, I'm going to just give you this disclaimer. Do not go over to seeking. Do not go over to any sugar daddy apps. Guys, your mind is going to be warped. <sighs> All right, I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to get, I don't know what's going to happen. I might get, hold on a sec. Let's see if I get demonetized or not. Can I do it from here? Can I do it from here? Well, I can't do it from here. Hold on a sec. Maybe I can. Uh, what is it called again? What the hell is that freaking app? Um, let me see. Hold on. Okay. 
Let me see if I can show you guys something. I don't know if I can get away with it on this channel, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, sign in. Can I use it from here? Shh, guys, don't tell anybody. Let's like, see if we can get in. All right, let's see if we can get in. But guys, I'm going to show you some stuff. Hold on a sec. So, guys, do not, please, do not hit these chicks up, okay? Hold on a sec. I don't know any of this stuff. Okay, so, gentlemen, I'm going to show you. Guys, just, let's see, what is today? I haven't been on for so long. I want you guys to take a look. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can show you guys. So, okay. I've got my other stream flaming in the background, okay? Guys, look at all these messages from chicks on these freaking sugar daddy sites. It's just on. And guys, I haven't messaged any of these girls. Maybe like a couple way back in the day. You know, a couple years ago. Look at this. Just goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> it just keeps going on. And, on. and it's just like, it's just, look, it's still going and going and going and going and going. and go Look at this. It's crazy. Now, what am I getting at? Now, of course, some of you guys could be like, well, that's because you got money or, you know, you had money or whatever. Well, see, here's the thing. It's not just about that, gentlemen. It's about them wanting to get paid for their time. Ah, see, the problem why AWs are so effing miserable, the real problem of why they're so miserable is they're still trying to get back what they lost from the guys that they hooked up with. Hold on. Don't, 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 don't flame me yet. What I'm getting at is they hooked up with dudes like myself or Tyronius Maximus, right? Back when I was chatting it up. Okay. What they're doing is they're trying to get back all of the pain, all the suffering. They're trying to get back at guys. For all those times they got kicked to the side of the road for all those times that they never got the opportunity to settle down. And now they're trying to get paid. And guys, these girls, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just for you. Okay. I know you guys are going to be like, no, that's not true. Get them daddy, Reverend Kevin Powell. That's right, dude. <laughs> so check this out. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me see. You, okay. Let's do, I don't know where you're at, red pill like my doll, but let's take a look at Texas. Guys, please do not contact these people. Don't harass them. Just leave them alone. It's only going to get me into trouble, not them. All right. <sighs> okay. Check it out. This is in Texas, guys. Hold on. Let me scroll up. Hold on. Let me get this goddamn thing. You can see my stream in the background. You see what I'm talking about, guys? It's chick after chick after chick. Houston, Texas. San Marcos, Texas. El Paso, Texas. Longview. Austin, Texas. You see what I'm getting at, guys? It just, look, look. This girl's in Austin. This girl is in Midland. Now, some of you guys are going to say, oh, those are AI buttons. Guys, they're not AI. They're coming for you. Now, I'm not knocking the whole sugar daddy thing. What I'm getting at is these girls are broken, man. A lot of them have tattoos. They got snuffle up against eyelashes. It's a mess. It is a freaking wreck. Ah, oh, yeah. It's all messed up, guys. And look, this, look at this girl. Look at how innocent she looks in so many ways. Come on. You would never expect her to be on here. Here's another little, you know, little chocolate sister. Ay, 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 I guess. And this isn't the only app I'm on. And no, I don't reach out to them. Guys, I'm in monk mode. Yeah. The, the, they've fallen prey and they are going to pay, guys, because all these girls are essentially selling things, right? And they get right to the point, guys. To my legionnaires, it's gonna get it's gonna get brutal. Here's a one in Dallas. Ah, yeah. 
Look at, guys, look at it. Look at the age. Can you see the age right there? Can you see the freaking age? Oh, boy. Yeah. It's going to get brutal, guys. It is going to be... And I, know, I don't normally show that type of stuff on, on this program. But that's what's coming, guys. These girls are going to come out at you full force and want you to pay their bills. Because they want to gain back what they lost. Their virginity. Ouch. We don't usually... <laughs> Red pill like Mido. It's one of the... Um, uh, I'm not going to advertise them on the channel, but how about this? How about this red pill like model? Go to, how about this? I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Give, well, give me a second. And I use Android. So kick rocks. If you don't like Android, that's your problem. Hold on. Um, I'll tell you this much. If you go to the app store, boom, it is the... If you go to the app store right now, it is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth app down. Okay. Now you can sign up for free and you guys can see what I'm talking about. And again, do not blame me for being traumatized after you see some of the things that these little ladies do. Guys, you're going to be traumatized. I just like to window shop. Go for it, buddy. And by the way, I'm not against sugar daddy apps and, or any of that stuff. Guys, I've done it all. I've been married. I've been a sugar daddy. I've been, I've, guys, I had a sugar mama. I think I did. Wait, wait, wait. Did I have a sugar mama? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've hooked up. I've chadwicked. I've done it all. I've had girlfriends. And I'm just getting to the, to, I'm getting down to it. I'm getting to the brass tacks. It, it didn't make my life better at all. And the reason for that is because AWs are absolutely miserable. They're a mess. They are out to lunch. They've got issues upon issues. And it's not like I'm wishing it upon them. Quite the contrary. Guys, if AWs weren't such a mess, we'd all be married. We'd all have kids. We would all have spectacular, well, decent families. Oh, I'll show you more later on, guys. If you want to see the... The amount of sucre babies. You guys are going to crap your pants. Do you have to sleep with the sugar mama? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Red pill like my doll. I've been a bad boy. You do know these, those ridiculously long lashes have a link to pro one, two, three, four institution. I agree. Reverend Kevin Powell, you're 100% on the money. And the long acrylic fingernails that look like Freddy Krueger. So... There's going to be a reckoning, guys, and it is not going to be in their favor. And if you are on that side, you're going to lose. To all the dating roaches out there who say run through them and lie and all this, you're going to be on the losing side. Again, gentlemen, I'm not on anybody's side except the winning side. And that's how I will always be. So if you want to be on the winning side, let's do it. If you don't, enjoy. <laughs> Because you are going to get... Yeah, look at this, guys. There's these beautiful houses, like right on the lake. It's freaking great, man. Let's go. You want to go through the forest? Check it out. Let's go through the forest. Let's get into trouble. I don't know what to tell you. If you want to go on that path, I mean, if you want to go on the hookup path, I did that for years, gentlemen, and to be honest with you, it, I lost a lot of time. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. <laughs> Red pill like Milo is laughing his ass off. You're going to have fun. I hooked up for many years. I hooked up with everything from fours, maybe even a three. I don't remember. Maybe I did a three or two. Who knows? All the way up to nines. So what? I don't believe in tens, guys. Because everybody's got flaws. Everybody's got flaws. I don't care how hot she is. She's got flaws. You know? She's got some stretch marks or, you know, a birthmark or something. So... It, you know, so don't can put that like when I see you in here shuffling. So you want to take a look again? You want to see? You want to see what you're missing out on, guys? This is and here's what's so funny. These same girls. Look at it. Wait, wait. Oh, she she disappeared. She's trying to get away from me. These same girls. Remember this one? These same girls are on Bumble. These same girls are on Texas Tinder. Here. Is there any cuties on here? Oh! 
Oh, this is also for you on the S baby apps. Okay. You can even see the name in the title there. Here's one. You guys want to see your profile? <laughs> Here's one right here. This is what I'm talking about, guys. And they are looking to get paid. And yeah, they will catfish you. And yeah, they might look good sometimes but they're looking to get paid they are looking to get paid for real for activities and it's up to you if you want to go ahead and do it but yikes you are not going to necessarily want what guys any of these to my legionnaires any of these girls that are this desperate have real problems real problems we're talking severe, severe, bright smile on her face. Did any of them say I'm married? And, you know, of course not because they're on that app, but some of the girls are married and on that app. They're searching for happiness and they're never going to find it. That's why I put that in the thumbnail. They're never going to be happy, gentlemen. The days of happiness for AWs long, long gone. And they aren't coming back anytime soon. Ah, <sighs> what's today, guys? Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. I might work out today. I don't know. Let's see. Kind of feeling it. It is raining right now on my freaking sunglasses and face. <sighs> Check it out. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. <laughs> Yeah, your average AW on seeking, on sugar daddy apps. Here's your little Texas Kaylee's right here, gentlemen. Right here. Let's see. Let's see one more time. There's one right there. Look at this one. The freaking duck lips, whatever you call. Oh, guys, I don't know if this is a, is this a transformer? You guys think this is a transformer? It might be a transformer. I don't know. It's terrifying. <laughs> Look at this one. Guys, you would see her out on the street. Would you think she's a you-know-what? How about this little uh, dating scholar, 19, from Austin? Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, freaking dogs. I'm getting, I'm getting rained on pretty hard now, guys. I should have brought my freaking umbrella. That was kind of stupid. Should I go back and get my umbrella? Damn it should well, this is going to be a pain in the ass oh this girl messaged me oh let's see what she says guys you want to see what she says look at this look at this you want to see <laughs> look at this. look at this guy there is no reason for them to ask you for money for any reason <laughs> hey i just read your profile and would love to have a conversation with you if you're interested girls have zero game Let's look at her profile, guys. wonder if she's old. You want to see? Oh, okay. She's from England, and she's 21, and I'm getting rained on really hard. Oh, she's sultry. Not my type, but... Guys, I'm getting rained on really hard. I hope it doesn't mess up my equipment here. <laughs> this one, guys... <laughs> I could. I told you about this the other day. Don't, guys, don't text her. Hold on. Let me get the number out of the way. She goes, hey, definitely in shape. So I have that going for me. Would love to talk. They're messaging me, guys. You understand? Now, if you're on Tinder or Bubble, guess what's happening? You have to message them, and they're probably not going to respond. Isn't that funny? And then she goes, I was just messing with her. She goes, how are you? Because I didn't respond, so she kept texting me. Oh, man. They just... <laughs> oh, here's a scam. Here's a scam waiting to happen. You want to see a funny one? Uh, these two... Th these two are in Austin. Guys, I told you. In the Austin's... Look at that. These two are in Austin. Both 19. Two hot babes looking to be spoiled. Look at this. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? And you think they are not on Bumble, on Tinder, swiping, hooking up. Yeah, it's unfortunate, gentlemen. You know what's funny is after I moved from Los Angeles and I came to Texas, they didn't stop messaging me after I changed my location. 
And I live in a small freaking town. Ah, yeah, guys. It's crazy. If you're not ready for the onslaught, if you're not ready for the debauchery, you get you got to you got to bounce. You got to bounce. Well, you guys are gonna learn the hard way. You're gonna become miserable just like these AWs, because they are not happy. You think happy women do that? No, they don't, guys. The most traditional women on the planet, traditional foreign women, would never do that. How about women in their 40s, worth a go or no? BW trying to make you their pasta and lobster. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, how old are you, red pill like my doll? Women in their 40s are already completely, they are way further gone. I would not suggest that to any guy. Even for the younger guys, because these girls are trying to trap the younger guys now. And before, I used to say, go for the older bills. But even then, you guys, you have to be unbelievably careful. Because they're way more jaded. The last time I dated an older woman, or even close to my age, they're so bitter and so angry that they've been tossed to the side of the road so many times. That they're looking to stick it to you. They are looking to hurt you. At least with the younger ones, they're still having fun. Ah, oh, mid-30s. Okay, so you're mid-30s, red pill like my doll. It's time for you to stay focused on your purpose. Business and personal. That's first two things. Everything else is irrelevant. Because now is your opportunity to start becoming that leader that I don't know what, if what you want to do with your life, obviously, red pill like motto, but eventually, if you do want to have a family, it's going to be traditional foreign women. You're going to have to get used to it because this is what's out there, brother. <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna, I, red pill like motto. You know, you know what I should do? You want me to show you something? Hold on a sec. Let me show you something. Let me show you guys something. So you guys can see. Hold on a sec. Remember how I showed you that just now? Remember how I just showed you? Um, hold on a sec. Why the hell? Hold on, I guess. Sorry, gentlemen. I am getting. What the hell is going on here? Oh, man. What the hell is going on? Are you guys getting some buffering? Because I'm getting buffering over here. What the hell is the problem? Ah, let me see if there's buffering, guys. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's like buffering like crazy. What the hell is the problem? All right. Anyway. If you guys are in your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, it's best to be on your business and personal purpose. Put setting up the wins. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Now I will. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I thought there was buffering, but I was wrong. Um, let me show you something. Because <laughs> I only showed you the young ones. Let me show you something, all right? Look on here. I'm going to put the age range all the way to 99. Look who's on here, guys. You want to see something? Oh, there's a 26-year-old. Oh, look at that, a 25-year-old. Oh, guys, look at this, a 31-year-old on the Sugar Daddy apps. Oh, what if, guys, a 37-year-old is on a sugar daddy app? Okay, do you see what I'm, guys, look at this, look at, look at this uh, prize pig right here. Now, guys, please don't go contact them if you do see their username or whatever, please. It's just going to get, you know, this is what's on here, guys, 35. Look at this. I want to be spoiled. I'm 35. You think you're going to, look, 42, guys. Midland, Texas. Do you see what I'm saying? You think you're going to be getting quality anytime soon? Uh-uh. 
they're all on here effing around. And I know I've talked about this before, but I never showed you guys because I was like, I didn't want to take the risk that I get demonetized, but it really doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> Look at this, guys. 33. Would you ever think this girl would be on a sugar daddy app? Ever. <laughs> 32. Oh, great. Now they're going to send me all these old ass. Oh. Oh. And it's not like they're unattractive. I'm just saying, guys. <laughs> they're not my type, but Look at this guy's 30 from Dallas. Do you, Southern hospitality. They're literally selling. Guys, who just viewed me? Look, she just viewed you. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? I jump on this app for five seconds and they're already viewing me. Ah, oh, my poor... To my legionnaires, this is what's out there. Oh, look at, look at who just did this. Somebody upvoted my profile. She commented on my profile. What did she say? Hi, message me if you'd like to get to know each other. Hey, daddy, Coco Bunny. This, I haven't been messaging any of these girls for the past almost two years. I've been in monk mode. You see what I'm getting at, guys? This is what's out there. And I told you guys, it's going to warp your brain. You're going to go, wait a minute. Now, if you're a type of guy who does not care and you say, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hook up with, or I'm just going to settle down with, you know, somebody who's very, very ran through. Well, then have at it. Somebody who's very miserable. Okay. I, I'm not going to try to stop you. What I'm getting at is, gentlemen, you are in for a world of hurt if you think any of these girls are not out here slanging. Or at least thought about it. <sighs> Prized pig is crazy. Uh-huh. Red pill like my dog. I told you guys, it's going to warp your brain. I'm already way beyond warped. I've been there. I'm telling you the new dating strategy, pasta and lobster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they think they deserve this, gentlemen. Dating. There's no such thing as dating. It's prost, one, two, three, four, tit, one, two, three, uh, five, six, seven, eight, tuition. You are paying for their time. That's what they want. And they're trying to cut out the middleman because they need the money. They need the food. <sighs> I had this one. She came out to see me. She's like, can you give me 20 bucks? I've got no gas. I'm running on E. I'm like, what the heck? What is wrong with your brain? This is the type of crap because there's no men in their lives. <laughs> it's such a mess. Oh, it's such a mess. There are going to be reverberations. There are going to be vibrations that we're going to feel from this for, for decades. It's a mess, guys. It's not going to get it, it better anytime soon. Now it's not bright out, guys, and my eyes feel great. Because I have blue eyes, guys, and so it burns like a mofo in the bright sun. It hurts. Like, actually physically hurts. <sighs> Wait, I got to get adjusted. Hold on a sec. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, the SMV goes... My brother... Today. And this might, might, you know, alarm you guys, but... I'm like... I can't say it all, well, you know, in other countries, if a girl gets out of line, they have no problem. Now, a lot of guys, are, oh, you should never do that. Mm, that's debatable. That's debatable. Now, I know some of you guys are going to think that I'm a, a, a prick for doing that, but, and I haven't, I've only done it in sexual situations. However, what am I getting at? Women need rules and structure. This is another reason why they are so miserable, why they so, are so out of control, why they have no direction, why they're so lost. Now, you know, your average dating roach is going to say you can just hold mass confirm. Now, I'm not saying you should do that type of stuff. What I'm getting at is another reason why they're so miserable is because they're experiencing the power that we have. Walking away, the most powerful thing you can ever do is walk away from any woman.
Look at that, guys. I got traps now. My veins are popping out of my freaking neck. <laughs> I got freaking nets up there. <laughs> but my poor AWs know you're not going to be seeing any type of relief anytime soon. You have no choice. You have no choice in the matter either. Because what's going to happen? Well, guys have walked away. You're experiencing guys' power. You're experiencing the fact that men are taking all of the attention that you want and leaving. Now, you're going to make the argument, well, I get attention all the time online from Tinder. Well, there's a problem with that. That's just simps. It's not the attention you actually want. The real attention that you're actually craving, AWs, and I know this is very hard for your little brains to process because you don't understand yourselves. You want the first man you were ever with in your entire life. You want him to pay attention to you. You want him to fall in love with you. Yes, the guy who broke your heart the first time. Because you didn't listen to your dad. Because you went off and got with bad boys. You're forever going to carry that pain around. And you know it. This is why most of them are going to be lost. Once they've had their heart broken the first time, gentlemen, it's over. It's too late. There is no redemption. Now, a lot of guys say, oh, women recover from heartbreak faster. No, they don't, guys. No, they don't. What they do is they go get other dudes to try to fill the void, <laughs> uh, <laughs> metaphorically and <laughs> physically speaking, but it doesn't work. Ah, oh, my poor AWs. You're going to learn. And after you learn, you're going to come back crying. And then after you come back crying, guys are going to say, well... Too bad. You had your shot. Ah, oh, my poor little AWs. And you're going to say, well, Cheesecake Factory isn't good enough for me and all these other things. <laughs> and guys are going to scratch their head, heads like they always do. Guys are going to try to figure it out. Guys are going to say, what the hell is your effing problem? And you're still going to lose. See, that's what's so funny about this whole situation. It's not like girls are winning. It's not like they're getting wifed up. Oh, well, marriage does not. That doesn't, that doesn't equate. That doesn't uh, equate to a woman's value. Her getting married and having to be tied down. No, she's exactly like a man. I got really bad news for you goofballs. Who talk like that? Who think that men need to be women and women need to be men? What if a man did that? What would you do then? <laughs> when guys take away all their resources, what are you going to do then? And now you're finding out what's happening. When men take away everything, you got nothing. See, at, at the end of the day, countries like, what was it, Iceland, where the little ladies just go on strike and say, we're not going to work anymore. There's, it doesn't affect us. You don't understand. You take us for granted, and now you're going to have to pay the price, unfortunately. It's going to be brutal. The misery is going to continue for decades. You can mark my words on that one, guys, because they haven't learned anything yet. Zero percent. They're still infighting. There's still the good girls and the bad girls and this and that. They don't even know if they're coming or going. Do you think they... <laughs> I see what you did there, Paul. <laughs> Reverend Kevin Powell is paying attention. <laughs> Reverend Kevin Powell, you <laughs> can you tell my little ins? Uh, <laughs> can you tell when I'm being serious and facetious? Can you tell when I'm when I'm uh, creating puns and double entendres and all sorts of stuff? Reverend Kel Kevin Powell is taking paying attention. <laughs> Uh, you know what's great about this, guys, to my legionnaires? You know what's great about all this? Is that we're finally free. And I've never reflected on this at all. But you wonder what's really ironic about all the things that we're doing. Is that we're actually free. We're free now to talk about our experiences for the past 60 years being told that we're crap. Even though we're just, we're like, I, just, I was just born. And now I'm a horrible entity. Even though I'm giving everything I've got, you want to know what's funny? When you're a kid, when you're a boy, when you're a young boy, and you're working your ass off and you're, you're, you're getting good grades and you're 
you're, you're sacrificing and you're being told that you're nothing by society. How effed up is that? And I'm not trying a river. I'm just saying like the amount of pain and suffering guys go through is really undermined. It's, it's, it's uh, downplayed. And it's like we give everything we got and all we ask for is just a little bit of respect. It's another reason why men are walking away to my AWs. This is why you're miserable. You don't respect guys. You don't give men their due Central. I, I got a little newsflash for some of you goofballs out there. You know where most electricity comes from? It comes from Texas. To the people on the West Coast in Cali, you got 30 plus million people. Where do you think most of that energy comes from? That's correct, dumbass. It comes from Texas. You're going to. But now we've got the mic. And we're going to have the mic till the end of time. You had your little heyday and you got to stamp your little feet and say, we're going to go out here and we're going to do what a man does. And you're going to learn. <laughs> you're going to learn the hard way. Man, I'll never forget. I read this book as a kid and it was one of these, uh, these uh, self-hating uh, male ethnist dudes. And he's like, oh, they're, soon men will be extinct. And it was one of these fiction books. And I was like, why, why is he writing all this hey, self-hating crap about how guys are, you know, going the way of the dodo bird and they're going to be extinct. And I was thinking in my head, how are we going to make babies? I'm scratching my head going, What? We're going to make them artificially. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, uh, artificial insemination and uh, in vitro fertilization. No, you're not stupid. Every time you try to subvert nature, you get stung. And I'm a man of science myself. This is what's so funny. You're just creating more miserable women, stupid. Don't you get it? Ah. <sighs> Reverend Kevin Powell. Oh, yeah, definitely. He, he reads into what I'm saying. I got uh, Reverend Kevin Powell. I only do that because I'm only do that for the people who are paying attention. <laughs> uh, Ethanism freed men, ironically. Yes, it did. Women say they don't need men, but men show we don't need them. That's the difference. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. That one hurt. You got me right in the kidney. Kidneys. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to get a jaw on like back when I was in high school. Good Lord. It's crazy. I think I'm in better shape than I was in my early 20s. Kind of scary. I'm in better shape, which is kind of, I could run, I could jump, I could jump. I would say the only thing that's missing, I, I, I'm, this, I'm going to tie it all back together. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. Donkey punch. Boom. What the hell is a donkey punch? What is your problem? Do you try to act all cool? Protein. I'm out at him, bro. I hold frame like this, bro. I hold frame and then I tell AWs in my. And I scare him away with my fake toughness. Anyway, I'd say the only thing I'm missing from my 20s is probably explosiveness and higher testosterone levels. But, but with the proper equipment, I'm not going to take any, don't worry guys, I'm not going to take any drugs or anything crazy. I don't like needles and any of that type of crap anyway. It's just, it's unnatural. But there are ways to get your testosterone up and live like a warrior. Anyway, let's do it. Uh, you funny AF, surprised you don't get more views. Well, red pill like my doll, I'm just starting out, buddy. You have to understand something. Red pill like my doll, I'm only really two years in. A year and a half, not even two years. And I know that seems like a long time to you, but there are YouTubers who have been on here for eight, 10, 12 years. And I would rather go gradual. I had a big push last year. I had a massive push, huge spike. A couple of my videos just took off, but I'm in it for the long haul, man. You know what I'm saying? So all this content is going to be seen, whatever, three, four, five years from now. That's fine. I'm not in a rush. Don't worry, Red Pale Like Man. I'll get there. I'm a maniac. And I'm here to... I'm glad you're entertained. I'm glad you're entertained because... Because uh, 
at my job, I'm actually <laughs> this crazy. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's a mental patient. Uh, Reverend Kevin Powell, they have non-invasive methods of restoring raising tea levels. Exactly. Guys, there's plenty of different things that you can do. And by the way, red pill like Mido, if you could tell five or ten of your friends, send them, share these freaking videos. That's all I ask. And press the like button. And we'll get there. It's going to take time. And by the way, this is it. For you guys, for you guys who are new, this isn't for us. It's for the future generations. It's for the future so that way they don't make the same mistakes. Because pff, Gen Z guys are going to be okay. They'll get their act together. They're going to be okay. The Gen Z girls, guys, it's going to be... You know that graph that they show you about the liberal chicks getting more liberal that are young and the cons uh, guys are getting more conservative? That's the way it's going to go for the AWs. They're going to hit the wall. Smack! <sighs> I'm a wild man. I've always been a wild man, but I'm a happy wild man. So just, just don't, you know, red pill like my doll. For me, it's for the long term. I'm going long term. That's my job. And stay ahead. So you guys are ahead. We're ahead. So you can see what's going to happen. So when you're tradition, uh, to red pill like my doll, I don't know if you're going to, if you're even curious about traditional foreign women. But I promise you, they come in the flavor that you probably want. For example, Reverend Kevin Powell's getting a, he's got a Nigerian. For me, I got my little Koreans. I got my Colombianas. Do you see what I'm saying? So if, if for example, you are into the lighter skin girls, you're going to get plenty that are going to come to this country. Probably not in your lifetime, maybe at the end. But my point is, it's going to come full circle. The job is to get to the country you want to be in, raise a family there with the girl of your choice, girl of your dreams, whatever you want to call it for now. This for the future generations, they're already going to be, they're going to be well into conservative times again. There's always liberal times. There's always conservative times. It's just how it is. So anyway, go back to my previous videos for that. Today, we're talking about American Girl Mystery. Oh, <laughs> why did you call me a freaking bee? Oh, oh, I'll never forget this AW. And she, I told her no. I'll never forget this. Because she told me, oh, why don't you, why don't you take me here? And I said, I looked at her and I go, no. And she goes, what do you mean, no? I said, you're stupid. And guys, you should have seen the look on her face. She goes, oh, you got me a mess. And then she started to squeal and squirm and scream. And I go, you're just, you're just annoying. Get out of my face. And I walked away. And guys, you should have heard the Ted. And she started stopping it all me. And she started wiggling. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. I'm already walking away. You're just annoying. Now, what am I getting at? That misery, gentlemen, is going to reach its peak soon. It's going to reach, reach, uh, reach its peak within the next, I don't know, five, maybe 10 years before it really starts coming before they really start understanding that they screwed up. Now, of course, they're going to blame us in the beginning. But then, as guys completely walk away, as guys have completely leave the building, they're going to have to stumble, fall down, cry, say, whoops, we screwed up. But it's going to take a very, very long time. Because again, gentlemen, there's too many simps out here for now that are kissing their ass. Oh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh, oh, you need a hug. You need a hug. My name is Simpy Sam. If you need a hug, what I'll do is I'll hold your hand. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm having an ingasm. Oh, I love women so much. Hit the like button as you come in. Red Pill Like My Doll's got his passport. I love it. I highly recommend, depending on what race 
you, you know, you're attracted to. But I highly recommend that you gentlemen get your ass to the Orient because you will be blown away at how you are treated. You will be shocked. It doesn't matter your skin color. Guys, they couldn't care less. They're getting with Indian guys that are like four foot nothing. Okay? You're going to be okay. They have a fertility crisis over there. You're going to be perfectly fine. <laughs> Oh, bro, but women are the same. Women are the same. What? No, they're not, you, you dumb person. You've got liberal women and you've got conservative women. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys. Guys, did you hear that? Guys, there's little chickens over there. Guys, there's little chickens. Hold on a second. The hell did they go? I'm listening for chickens, guys. There's these these backyard chickens that kind of like. Where the hell did they go? I heard them. I heard a clucking. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear that? Wait a minute. I hear a car. Wait a minute. Guys, I've been looking for chickens for the backyard chickens. I might have to just get some chickens, guys. I little see little fat. Little the hell are the goddamn chickens. Anyway, guys, I'm on a search. I'm on a quest for backyard chickens. I'm not trying to steal them or nothing, but Let's see if I can get those. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna steal them. I can go buy chickens, guys. They're not expensive. Guys, you can get chickens in Texas for nothing. That is a big ass cat. Let me go see. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you, you delicious fat little bastards? I'm just, I just want to pet him or poke him. Just, I'm curious. Hold on a sec. Where are the chickens? Okay. They're normally over in this, over here. But I don't see them. Maybe they've been over there. Oh. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Ah, oh well, guys. I was just curious. I wanted to see if there's little chickens. Um, why are you dissing your hometown? My hometown, L.A.? Because because red pill like vital, it, it's become a dump. LA has become a dump, sir. LA has become a war zone. And by the way, it's not like I dislike LA. It's just LA is as Los Angeles has become a dumpster fire. You got a bunch of effinists. You got a bunch of weak ass, pathetic simps everywhere you go. You know what I mean? It's like. If you guys, if you haven't been to Los Angeles, it is, it, it's, it's just depressing now. Go, watch the movie, watch the movie Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And it's literally like Thunderdome. Hold on a second, let me pop this up. It's literally like Thunderdome. <sighs> yeah, poor LA. Shout out to LA. Yeah, Reverend Kevin Powell, yeah, exactly. It's, I don't know, where, where you live, Red Pill, like, I mean, it is just... <sighs> Guys, I lived on the beach in a very nice city, in a very nice city, and you've got bums, you've got freaking uh, thieves, you've got crackheads. The police can't even stop them. You need to be nice to the criminals. Does that make sense? Wait, wait. Yeah, I was listening for chickens, because you sometimes they're over here, they're pecking around. Little chick guys. Backyard chickens, they look delicious. I'm not even joking. I'm not being. I'm not even trying to be funny. They really do look delicious. But you should. You can keep them for meat, or you can keep them for eggs. Oh yeah, mm. delicious. <laughs> Hit the like button as you come in. Hit the like button. This guy's cr dude. You're weird, man. You're fuck. You're freaking weird. You're mental. Go get help. Ooh. Anyway, the people who need the most help are going to tell you that you need help. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, red pill like my doll, it, it's, uh, it's a very strange city because Los Angeles is huge. Los Angeles is a very sprawled out, disconnected, uh, massive megalopolis. It's so big. All right, here, let me give you, let me give you an example. Uh... 
square uh, miles. Hold on. I'm going to look it up just for you. Square. Hold on a sec. How do you type this in? Square miles, Los Angeles County. All right. So Los Angeles County, just for example, red pill like metal, is 4,000 square miles. That is how it is freaking huge. For example, have you guys ever been to uh, New York? Square miles, New York City. Let's see. So here's, for, for example, guys, New York City's land area is approximately 400 miles. Do you see what I'm saying? Los Angeles County is 10 times the size. It is freaking ginormous. Now, what am I getting at? Well, the problem with LA County being that big, it's very hard to police. Okay? It's very hard to police a county of that size. Okay, number one. Number two, you go from one city to the next in Los Angeles County, you are going from a ghetto to a paradise. Guys, if you're in the Beverly Hills area and then you go next door to Watts or Compton, it is terrifying. There are bars on the second story windows. Let's just put it that way. There's that much crime. So what am I getting at? LA is not as glamorous as you may think. Hollywood is not as pretty as you think. Which way should I go? Should I go this way? Harass some people? Let's go up to the clubhouse. Is this son of a bitch? Are you following me? I think he's following me. If you're following me, I'm going to follow you, sir. The hipsters, yeah, that's annoying. Trump is live right now, too. You are competing with the big dogs on YouTube. Oh, cool. I'm not trying to compete with Trump. I'm only competing against myself, Buckaroo, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Trump, good for him. <laughs> Orange man, bad. Oh, my God. Oh, the goofballs. Whatever, dude. Uh, guys, I don't, I don't even get political. I just stay out of all that nonsense. I don't want to fight with those idiots. <sighs> yeah. I'm not I'm not going to take either side. I'm just going to let I'm going to let the I'm going to let the dominant male take over, you know? Precisely. The environment varies greatly from one city to the next actually from one area to the next. Weird ah uh, comment. <sighs> you guys are funny, man. You make me laugh. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I, I lived in a very nice city. If you guys really want to know, I lived in... Uh, um, hold on a sec. God damn it. Let me hit this button here. I lived in the South Bay. The South Bay cities. Uh, Torrance area. Redondo Beach area. Um, these are very nice areas. The El Segundo area. Right? Like really nice cities. Hermosa Beach area. Manhattan Beach area. They're just, it's stunning. It's beautiful. You're living literally right on the water. With the, There's a massive, uh, what is it called? There's a massive, what do they call it? A boardwalk, if you will, where it, it, it's like a long, long bike path all the way down the coast. I mean, it is just spectacular. It's stunning. It, it's breathtaking. You see the ocean for miles. You got K leaves everywhere. You got little K leaves bubbling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Red pill like my doll. You're so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love to have fun. Okay, cool. Like literally K leaves everywhere, bubbling and bouncing. Being so I play volleyball. <laughs> I'm wearing a bikini. You're going to see that stuff. But you also have bums. You have beggars yeah, who are actually terrifying who have no teeth who are freaking uh oh wait i gotta get out of the way of this sob don't run me over dude don't run me over god damn it gotta run you're making me run and i don't want to run okay there we go i'm fine guys let's go down a dark creepy path trail you want to see this creepy trail let's go down this creepy trail look at that isn't that terrifying once it gets dark we're gonna be in the dark texas chainsaw massacre style i really have an irrational fear of Texas Chainsaw. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's like in the back of my mind, I'm thinking in my head, it's like a horror movie, you know? You go into the dark in the woods, and you're all by yourself. The, the only thing that's missing is like some big uh, chested chick. Guys, you better watch out. 
We're going into the darkness. Uh, you're talking about Playa del Rey in South, correct, Reverend Kevin Powell. It's not dark, bro. You have a glow stick. Yes, Buckaroo, but when I'm glowing and I got the light in my face, I can, here, here's, the, here's what it looks like to me. You, you'll see. You'll see. It's not dark, dark. But you know what I mean, Buckaroo. It's not, it's not dark yet. It will be. <laughs> it's just I can't. Okay, now I can't. Anyway, when you guys, when you guys, you guys ever get a chance to go to LA, just stick to the beach cities. And I mean, you can go to like Glendale and some of the north, northern parts of LA. Guys, don't say in LA, the city itself. It's a complete dump. It's gotten better. You can go to Echo Park and some of the other. There's too many cities in Los Angeles. They're just, it's just too big. It's freaking huge. All right. Now I can see now. Thank you, Red Pill Like Model. Thank you, Buckaroo. He sounds like Dating Roach Dan. It's not dark, bro. You have a glow stick. <laughs> Red Pill Like Model is flaming you, <laughs> Buckaroo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, my, my freaking, my subscribers. You guys are too good, man. And by the way, again, so guys, don't worry about my views. I'll get them there. They're going to take time. I, guys, I'm thankful that I hit, I hit over two, I think I'm going to hit 2.5 million this year. Views? I'm cool with that. I'm not, guys, I don't care about the, you, you guys, okay. To my Legionnaires, I don't care about the subs. I don't care about the views. I've got my goals in my head. I've already hit a hundred over a hundred K uh subs. I'm cool with that. I'll hit a million eventually. It may take five, ten years, but I don't care. It's more about the journey, if that makes sense. Hit that like button as you come in. I see you sons uh, SOBs shuffling in here. Okay, we're full on in the forest now. Check it out. Check it out guys. It's nice and pretty out. It's not too dark. See out there off in the distance, that's the clubhouse over here. And by the way, Kaylee's are cool, but I think you roast in AWs hinders your growth because you don't pander to them. Well, well, that too. Agreed, man. But to be honest, I even if I wanted to red pill like Mado, I, I can't do it, man. I can't kiss their ass. I'm just not that type. Even if, okay, like let's say, Let's say, for example, somebody came to me. I'm not making this up. Let's say somebody came up to me and said, I'm, we're going to offer you $10 million to change your content, um, start wearing pantyhose, uh, dress like a woman, you know, do all this stuff. Guys, I can't do it. And m some of you guys may not believe me, but I really, I just couldn't do it. For me, it's not even about my integrity. It has nothing to do with any of that type of stuff. It's just my style. I, I can't do it. I would not be able to uh, bend the knee. I just wouldn't be able to do it. For me, it would be... It's it just... I, I can't do it. It's not my cup of tea. Some guys can go and do that and change their content, like Hafiz or whatever, from the, uh, from the roommates. It's just not my style, guys. In, I, I'm just not, I never believed in it, mainly because the men in my family didn't either. And even though my dad, you know, he had his moments where he gave in to my mom. My, my dad was pretty, he was on, he was on his game. And my uncle, my great uncle, my grandfather, guys, they'd be rolling in their grave. If they, if they, they're probably spinning in their grave right now, seeing all the craziness that's going on. Do you see what I mean? So for me, I, I, more power to the guys who take the money, but I enjoy this way more than changing my content. So you just can't sell out that easily. Well, yeah. And it's just for me, I, look, you could offer me a hundred million. It's still, I, I can't do it guys. It's just not for me. More power to anybody who wants to, it's just not for me. If some dude came up to me right now and said, you will be a billionaire tomorrow, just change your content, pander women, be nice, kiss their asses, um, et cetera, et cetera. And here's what's really funny. You guys want to know what's really ironic? My boss is an AW. I'm not joking. 
I'm dead serious. And you guys may be shocked by that, but this job that I just took, my boss is actually an AW. <laughs> if she sees my content, I'm definitely getting fired. <laughs> but it's cool. If I get fired, guys, I'll just get another job. Until this content takes off, I'll just... <laughs> uh, she might actually find it amusing, actually, now that I think about it. But I'm not going to show it to her. I mean, she'd be like, she's pretty cool, but she'd be scratching her head a little, maybe. Okay, where are we going, guys? Are we going this way? I don't know. Let's go this way. But it's kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Bosses, baby. Your dad was just doing the relationship marriage thing. That's way different than being a... Yeah, exactly. He, he, my dad was... Uh, my dad was in his relationship with my mom. Was uh, he, he stood his ground most of the time when I look back. And my mother at the time... She was bought into that whole F. <sighs> she was unique because she did buy into the FNS crap a little, but she was raised traditional. Does that make sense? Wait, hold on, guys. Let me get this light correct. I'll do this. Okay, like that. Like that. Like that. All right, let me get this light. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, but they, but I would say my dad, uh, he he stood his ground as much as he grew up a baby boomer and kind of soft and romanticizing everything. He stood his ground. Now my grandfather, oh my God, <laughs> he was made out of oak. Okay, he did not bend for anybody. Um, he was a he was a nice guy. He was gentle, but he did not bend, guys. He was he was a very intimidating man. Six foot three, six foot four, farmer worked with his hands, and I was like, oh man. So anyway, the point is the men in my family, they didn't bend. They didn't break. They did not simp. They didn't kiss ass. Now, they did flirt with women, and they were uh, my uncle especially. But he did not simp. Guys, he was wow. So what am I getting at? Hit that like button as you come in. That's what I'm getting at. <sighs> what I'm getting at is the misery of AWs is connected with this because they are given no rules. And women, people in general, don't survive without rules. But especially AWs. Especially AWs. They're terrible without rules. They flounder. They flail. Uh-oh. Wait, guys. Is there a deer over there? Wait a minute, guys. Hold on a sec. No, 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 no. I thought it was a deer. Never mind. Never mind. They're out here, guys. And they're delicious. I tell you, if you haven't had deer meat, it is insane. But yeah, even if they offered me... 10, 15, 20, 30 million, 100 million, a billion. I couldn't do it. Um, I mean, that's great money. And I know there's guys that definitely would go for it. But for me, I, I, I can't do it. Because I would, I'd be doing myself a disservice, number one. And it wouldn't sit well. I would be, I would be betraying myself. And I cannot literally, I just literally, it would not work. I would be too frustrated with my own behavior, right? So. More power to anybody who can, but for me, uh, no. And that's why my views, <laughs> it's going to take some time. And especially since I'm going against, guys, I'm literally going against everybody except Passport Bros, Passport Kings. And that is going <laughs> to, even guys who say they're more in the space, I'm going up against them. I'm lambasting them. I'm flaming the hell out of them. So it's just, it's going to be an uphill battle. Holy cow, it's already 8 o'clock at night. God, Jesus. The hell have I been doing this whole time? We've just been having a conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, check it out, guys. It's a little, uh, a little park. It's very quiet out here. Where's all the simps? Everybody's out partying right now, guys. It's Saturday. Uh, but yeah, so what you're going to see is you're going to see AW's lost for a very long period of time. And you're going to see simps pandering for a while. You're going to see lots of follies. You're going to see a lot of fails. <laughs> Why does my head look all bent out of shape? What the hell is that all about? Anyway, I think what's going to be most fascinating about the journey coming up is you're going to see men making massive massive moves behind the scenes and everybody just scrambling to catch up like they have been the media and by the way guys i don't know if you know this 
But many of the big effinist media conglomerates are going out of business. What a surprise. Why, you ask? Because, gentlemen, that type of media content is not being supported at all by even the ladies. Now, I know this is a little bit contrary to what I've been saying, but remember, there usually is a vocal minority which goes against the silent majority. AWs do want to be traditional for whatever reason, be it financial, be it it's biological, but they're easily influenced. That is their biggest problem. Their biggest problem is the amount of influence that people... Guys, you can convince AWs to pretty much do anything. They're, they're, and I don't want... Don't use this to your advantage, you evil pricks. But you can literally convince them to do pretty much anything. If you can tap into their feelings, they're probably going to do something that you tell them to do. All right? You evil bastard. <laughs> and they are being manipulated right now. By simps. You're so beautiful. Oh, you're a two. But you're so sexy. It's like, dude. I saw this TikTok of a girl who's literally in a wheelchair and she's complete, dis completely disgusted by the comments in her DMs of dudes who are interested in hooking up with her. She's disgusted by them. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> she's like, I literally sit in a chair all day. Do you know what happens downstairs? And guys are like, oh, that's sexy in her comments. And she's like, what? What is wrong with you? Now, I don't remember if they are DMs or comments, but... Guys have fallen far in the West. And it's time they freaking get some standards. And that's really what we're all about here, guys. Standards. And that means women are going to be... There's another reason why AWs are going to be miserable for the next few generations. It's because, to my ladies out there, you have zero standards. Now, I know this may not make sense to you. But the lower your standards are, the more you're going to suffer in life. Gentlemen, when you have high standards in life, you're going to hold yourself to very, you're going to hold yourself accountable. And the problem is when you have accountability, when you have no accountability, you really can't hold high standards. Does that make sense? Now you're going to say, well, that's not true. Women hold us accountable and they have very high standards. Right. But they're not holding themselves accountable. Do you see what I'm saying? They're holding us accountable for their high standards, but they're not holding themselves accountable. So for example, let's say there is an LA-9 and she is smoking hot and she's half Asian, half Hispanic. And she's like, I want a guy who has a Lamborghini and a Ferrari and he takes me around the world and he flies me around. Well, if she's a nine and her body is on point and she's got a good attitude, Guys, she's probably going to be able to hang out with millionaires and billionaires, just like I talked about that girl earlier. And I'm telling you, holy moly, was she fine. She was expensive, but she was, <laughs> she was fine as hell. I was like, dang. Guys, I walked through, um, I walked through my, old, my old house that I lived at. If you look at my previous videos, you can see about a year ago. And I walked through, and one of my neighbors, he just goes, he's just like, God, because <laughs> she was wearing a jacket and she was looking very, uh, she's looking very posh. And I was like, yeah, buddy, I know your ugly ass wife. Don't, don't measure up. But cause he really, his wife is not, but <laughs> oh man, it's just funny because if you don't hold yourselves to high standards to my AWs, if you don't do that, guess what's going to happen? You are not going to get the results and the outcomes that you want. If you don't stay in shape, if you don't have a good attitude, red pill like my is laughing his ass off. If you don't have a good attitude, sister, you are going to be out in the streets right there. You see this little corner right here, this dirt trail, you're going to be sitting there asking, begging, pleading guys for money, for attention. Nobody's going to care. Nobody. Nobody's going to care. We are from the dark side. We are going to take advantage of you. I'm just kidding. We're not taking advantage of you. Most guys aren't interested in AWs. <laughs> when, when you get... Okay, here's... Oh, this one's really going to put the nail in the cup. If you have 
your choice to my AWs out there. If guys have their choice of you versus a very, very demure, docile Japanese or Asian woman who is just like, oh, you are so nice to me. Why are you so nice? You, you, you gave me a hug. Now I am happy. Do you think they're going to take you or they're going to take that docile, demure, happy little Japanese Asian nugget? This is you. You know what? See, Mr. Light Best Guy, you know what your problem is? My name is Rosalind Portman. And what I like to do is I like to take my ch You see my chins? You see my chins? What I like to do, I, li I like to put ketchup on my potatoes. Then I put the mayonnaise on top of the ketchup on top of the potatoes. Then I take them and put them in a the deep fryer. <laughs> Uh, and then I cook some pizza and I put the, the potatoes and the, and the deep fried potatoes on top of the pizza. It's delicious. <sighs> Let me push down my fat for a second. I, I don't like your attitude. I'm not miserable. <sighs> to my AWs out there, guys aren't interested. They don't want your role. Now I know you're going to tell me that they slide into your DMs and they want to hook up with you. That doesn't mean they want to have a relationship with you. Ouch. You're too fat. This is another reason why you're miserable. This is another reason why you're depressed and on antidepressants. There's just so many reasons. Guys, I've got... A I could do a four-hour stream on this. <laughs> and we still wouldn't get to all the, the miserable touch points. Why are you walking so much, bro? I'm going to deflect now because I'm a sip. You know what, bro? I don't like your attitude, but you're just an icy virgin, bro. I probably have a higher body count than you, son, and I'm not even bragging. To my simps out there. You, by the way, to my simp trolls, you need to get some better material because you're pathetic. You're, you're the weakest. You, I need a better quality crop of troll. Every guy who's tried to troll me is just pathetic. Well, your views are low, man. Why do I care what you think? <laughs> The weakest, <laughs> you're, well, uh, you're an IC virgin. What? Huh? How do you know? Have you been down? Do you want to take a look, son? Do you want, you want a piece of this? Why are you so interested in my sexual past? Are, are you attracted to me? I mean, that's cool if you are. If you're gay, that's fine. <laughs> I love trolls, man. Guys, I really love trolls. Because you want to know why I love trolls, guys? Because they're not as good as me as trolls. I'm a much better troll, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I want a better. I want a troll who's better than me. A troll. Oh man, I love trolls, man. They make me laugh. So anyway, do we have enough miserable touch points for my little AWs? For my poor little AWs, sad all the time. You're making me sad. I'm this is sobbing, and I don't make it. It's my poor AW. <laughs> Oh, they do need a hug, guys. They are an absolute wreck. <sighs> but I'm not going to be given a hug. It's not for me. So, what is the good news for us? Well, of course, as they are lost, we will be finding our way. See, because, guys, there is always balance in this universe. When AWs are lost, we are found. Does that make sense? Bro, you're just too metaphysical, bro. I need to smoke more marijuana, bro, so I can get into your headspace. Because you're too aggro. You're always getting, you're making faces at the camera. You're like a mental patient, bro. Even though I tell you the whole masculine thing, bro. Dating coach, Dan. <laughs> you know what you should do? <laughs> this is dating coach, Dan. <laughs> I chortled at everything, bro. <laughs> you know what you should do? <laughs> you should use Riz, bro. You should use game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to freak these people out up here. There's like a house of people over here and they're very nice and quiet. And I always like go by and they go, <laughs> they get, they get kind of nervous. They kind of, but they wave at me. They're very, <laughs> they like, dude, this guy's crazy. You got characters in your head, bro. You're like an actor, bro. You're acting. I'm not acting. I just have characters because I've met so many characters. And I like entertaining people. It's fun for me. <laughs> so yeah, guys, hit the subscribe button. 
share this stream. Let everybody know you are a legionnaire, a member, that you mean business, that you are a passport king, that you are going to make your whole life about your business and personal purpose. You're going to fix things. You're going to become better. You're not going to become high value for a bunch of shit. By the way, do you, you date it roaches out there? Why would I become high value for some low rent 304 ran through miserable, angry AWs full of head meds? They're literally taking antidepressants out in the open. And I need to talk to my therapist. I, I just don't get you guys. You guys are friggin' weird. Ah. <sighs> Red pill like model is laughing his ass. They probably can tell you're from Cali. Yeah, well, probably. But again, I'm very nice to Texas people. And by the way, to red pill like model, you think I'm staying in Texas? Uh uh. I'm moving my ass overseas. I'm probably going to be living in South Daegu, you know, South Korea. Freaking Daegu, South Korea. I'm going to get myself a little Korean nugget. And we're going to be yabseoing and bulgogiing and freaking hobseo ing everything okay we're gonna be she's gonna be making me bim bim bap and i'm gonna be eating that freaking barbecued beef from a little korean nugget and there you go and then i'll be streaming overseas and by the way i'll be streaming overseas and we're gonna be talking to traditional foreign women we're gonna talk to liberal foreign women we're gonna differentiate i might even do some interviews i'm gonna keep this channel a men's space but i'll probably create a separate channel where i'm interviewing chicks okay now of course i could blow up immediately gentlemen if i started interviewing all the chicks i meet throughout the day my channel would probably blow up but that is not what this is it's a men's only space this channel i might create a separate channel that is completely you know more interviews talking to traditional foreign women but we got to keep this a men's only space i don't care how much alpha you got your space will change if you bring women in Okay, even if they're nice, even if they're friendly, even if they're feminine, the space will change. The tempo changes, right? Now I have a little Korean Yab Seo, and she's sitting there and she's like, oh my God, you're so angry. Are you okay? While I'm screaming at you guys at the top of my lungs, you think she's going to be very concerned. <laughs> you are so, are you okay? Do you need a hug? And I'll be like, yes, thank you, little, you little Korean nugget. Now I need to get back to my stream. Okay, anyway. Anyway, guys. Don't forget the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. I might go work out. Work out the aggression from monk mode. Hit the notification bell, become a Legionnaire member. We're going to do it, guys. We're going straight to the top. Keep doing your thing. Share this stream. Become part of this community. I really appreciate you, gentlemen. Don't to punch the like button, finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, become a Legionnaire member, share this stream, do it all, do it now. Until next time, gentlemen.